You may have heard this uh, pop star Justin Timberlake, who just wrapped up his world tour this week, has announced he's battling Lyme disease. Yeah, Timberlake said while his diagnosis came as a shock, it explains why he'd experienced nerve pain, fatigue, and sickness while performing on stage. He says living with Lyme disease has been debilitating. We know that Lyme disease comes from tick bites. Tick, tick bites, rather, and this summer is shaping up to be one of the worst tick seasons in recent years. New CDC data showing emergency room visits related to tick bites have spiked this year. The Midwest trails that include Cuyahoga Valley National Park and Hocking Hills State Park and the Northeast region in general were among the highest in percentage of tick-related ER visits. So of those going to the ER, most were children up to nine years old and people over the age of 70. Doctors do want to stress the sooner you find and remove a tick, the lower your risk of infection. Finding the bullseye rash, which I always kind of consider lucky, um, only 25% of people get the bullseye rash, or not everybody sees the tick. Um, so I think that's what's happening. We always kind of say secondary prevention isn't working right now. And what I mean by that is people typically call me or reach out to the organization once they have a tick bite or once they were diagnosed with Lyme disease. Um, and we always say, just spray before you play. So ticks don't just live in the woods. Here's something really important to know. They can live in the city anywhere where there's tall grass that they can hide. Ticks thrive in humid conditions such as near water sources or in that leaf litter. So our weather has actually, I'm sorry to say, been perfect for them to thrive.